This video will cover the topic even and odd functions, problem type 1. A function f of x is said to be even if for any input x in the domain, f of x equals f of negative x. A function is odd if for all inputs x in the domain, f of x equals negative f of negative x. If neither of these are true, then the function is neither even nor odd. Let's break it down. Consider the function h of x equals negative 4x to the fifth power plus 7x cubed. To check if this is an even function, we should find out if h of x equals h of negative x. To find h of negative x, we'll replace all the x's in our original function h of x with negative x, and now we'll simplify this whole equation to see if we can get it to equal our original function h of x. First, we can write negative x as negative 1 times x in every instance of negative x. After we've done that, we can distribute these exponents to each factor within the parentheses. And now both of our negative ones are raised to odd exponents, which means they will keep that value of negative 1 when their exponents are applied. Now that we've simplified this, we can multiply these two factors and these two factors so that we finally have h of negative x equals 4x to the fifth minus 7x cubed. This simplified expression is not equal to h of positive x. It is not equal to negative 4x to the fifth plus 7x cubed. So since h of x is not equal to h of negative x, we know that this function is not even. To find out if h of x is an odd function, we need to check if h of x equals negative h of negative x. We found before that h of negative x equals 4x to the fifth minus 7x cubed. And now to find negative h of negative x, we need to multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1. On the left side, this gives us negative h of negative x. And on the right side, we have negative 1 multiplied by the entire expression from our first step. To simplify this, we distribute negative 1 to all of the terms on that side of the equation. And this gives us negative h of negative x equals negative 4x to the fifth plus 7x cubed. And this expression here is the same as our original function, which tells us that h of x is equal to negative h of negative x, meaning it does pass the test for being an odd function. So we know h of x is an odd function. Is there a way we can tell if a polynomial is even or odd without doing all of that work? One way to quickly figure out if a polynomial is an even or an odd function is to look at the exponents of each of the terms. If all of the exponents are even, then it's an even function. And if all of the exponents are odd, then it's an odd function. In our example, all of the exponents were odd, which means that this is an odd function. And that's actually what we found when we did the longer way of figuring it out. So what if we had the function g of x equals negative 2x to the fifth plus 3x squared? Is that even or odd? Well, it is a polynomial, so we can tell by the exponents. Are the exponents even or odd? Well, 5 is odd, but 2 is even. Does that mean it's neither even nor odd? Exactly. What if we have a graph? How can we tell if a function is even or odd from the graph? We can use the same test that we used before for a graph. For example, let's check if this function r is even or odd. First, let's see if it's even. So we need to check if r of x equals r of negative x. But how do we do that? Good question. First, let's just choose a random x value, such as this one. To find the value of r of x, we see what's the y value at that x value, which in this case is right here. Now let's find the negative of that x, negative x. In this case, the negative of this x value is this x value right here. Now to find r of negative x, we find the y value of this negative x, which when we compare it to our first value of x, r of x 
is equal to r of negative x for this value of x. This suggests that it's probably an even function. How can we be sure that this is true for all values of x in the domain? We know this because our function is reflected over the y-axis, meaning the y-axis acts like a sort of mirror for the function. Since this axis is like a mirror, then for any value of x, the value of r of x is the same as the value of r of negative x. How can we tell if a graph is odd? Let's look at the function s. If this function is odd, then s of x must equal negative s of negative x. Let's test this by choosing a value of x, then finding s of x, which is right here. And now, let's test to see if that equals negative s of negative x. Negative x would be right here. And so s of negative x is this value, which is the negative of our original value of s of x. So s of x, which is this value, is in fact equal to the negative of s of negative x. These are opposites of each other. And this means that the function is odd. We can tell that this is true for all values of x in the domain because the graph has rotational symmetry around the origin, meaning if we rotate it 180 degrees around the origin, it would look the same. So we know if an equation is an even function if f of x equals f of negative x, or if the graph has symmetry across the y-axis. We know that a function is odd if f of x equals negative f of negative x, or if the graph has rotational symmetry about the origin. Right. Sounds like you understand even in odd functions.